Children of the Night has had a 70% to 80% success rate of turning the lives around of these children who've been forced to prostitute on the streets or by whatever means. Um, but so much of it has to do with how they're referred. If they're forced to come in and they come in just and then run up back to the streets because they're not ready to come in, or if they come in voluntarily because they want to be there and they want to change their lives. We don't really know what the success rate is because so many of them die and so many of them move on to more serious kinds of crime. So many that are not seen by the social service agencies because there's no standard protocol across the United States for referring these children from the horrible and horrific childhoods that they've experienced. It is a long-term commitment. My philosophy has always been with these children, whether you want me to buy your books and school supplies in 10 years, I'll be there. Or if you want me to hold your hand in the hospital when you're dying of AIDS, I'll be there. And I'm known for doing both. That tends to make the children want to do the better thing of changing their lives. But that's not possible for all of them because they have been severely damaged. Being a prostitute is the lowest level on the streets. It is the very lowest thing that you can do if you're living on the streets of selling your body. A drug dealer, a thief, a burglar has more status than a prostitute. And when you're dealing with prostitution, you're dealing with mental illness, many times psychotic, schizophrenic behavior, drug addiction, alcoholism, all kinds of problems that the success rate alone just with those issues is not good.